Hi, it's Frank. I want to show you how to uh, verify your, your uh, freshly downloaded wallet. Uh, in order to do that, I have uh, set up my Pi. I'm going to do it on Linux, but uh, more interesting for me is I'm going to do it on Linux, uh, which runs on a Pi. And to show that, I have already run the command lscpu, so you can all see that it is a R64, but it's on the running on a Cortex-A53. Well, I already downloaded uh, the command line Linux. So basically, what I need to do now is extract that file, expand that file, and check that file. And in order to extract that file, I'll need to run this command, tar minus xvf, vero cli linux, etc. The complete file name. And when you do that, because I use the, uh, uh, the F uh, parameter, it also shows you which files to expand. And you see I've got two files. I've got another archive, and I got a signature.txt file. Now that signature.txt file, that one is, uh, well, not important. Yeah, it is important, it is really important because that contains uh, the information where, uh, from which you can verify your file. I'm gonna show that file using the cat command, cat vero cli, et cetera, et cetera. And it shows me basically a JSON string. It shows me a hash, a signature, and a signer. Now, what I'll need to do is I'll need to verify it somewhere. I have uh, the virus daemon in my uh, path command, so I don't need to go to that specific folder and put a uh, colon slash in front of it, because I have it in the path command. Uh, my Linux knows where to find it. Um, okay, virus, and I'll need to command verify file. And here you see the help of uh, that file. And as you can see, what I need to do is verify file, address or identity, signature, file path, and check latest. Check latest, uh, that basically says uh, it checks it on the latest identity. So uh, identities can change over time. Uh, they can be altered. And if you are on an offline wallet, if it's uh, not up to speed, uh, uh, completely synced, you may have an older version, but that should be no issue at all, as long as your chain is uh, synchronized up to the point that the identity existed. Okay, uh, I'll need to verify stuff address or identity uh, the address or identity is what i have right here so what i can do is verify file address or identity various coin foundation releases at uh, what next do i need i need the signature and i scroll up a bit again and i see the signature uh, i don't need that space in front of it i need the signature and I paste that signature, and then I need file path and file name. Um, you'll need the complete file path. You cannot use the home character. So what I'll need to do is, let me see, maybe, uh, oink, I am in documents, as you can see down here, documents. And I'll need the exact file name, which I can see from our extraction path. And I simply have to press enter. And it returns true to me. That means that the file I downloaded was in a, indeed signed by the VirusCoin Foundation releases. And the file is intact, it's not tampered with, and it came from uh, the VirusCoin Foundation. And that is basically what I needed to know. So what I can do now, I can proceed and I can uh, unpack uh, the archive I just checked. 
and as you can see it opens up the virus CLI uh, folder recreates that and it impacts it there that's how you check the signature 